Hello, 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 everybody out in uh, YouTube land, as well as anybody listening. If you're in Smithtown, if you're in East Hampton, if you're in uh, Bayshore, or even if you're not on Long Island, I don't know, you're in California, wherever you are, whoever you are, and whenever you are, just hello. I am Billy Kess. This is the voice of Long Island. I speak as the voice of Long Island. I don't claim to be the voice of everybody who lives on Long Island. But it's the name that I call my blog, and uh, I have the right to call it whatever I want. And, um, you know, nobody's going to stop me. You can make fun of me, but you can't, like, just stop me. Anyway, I'm going to light this cigarette here. This cigarette that I bought from uh, the uh, Indian Reservation out in Mastic because I don't pay taxes on my cigarettes. How do you like that? Mm-mm. You're going to charge me six seventy-five for a pack of cigarettes? You know what? I'd rather buy this. I'd rather buy my cigarettes, and I've done this a few times, off the crackhead. You know, the crackhead who steals them, and then he sells them. He sells the cartons around town for like uh, 25 bucks, 30 bucks a carton. I'll buy it off them. But Billy, you're aiding and abetting crime. Crime? Six seventy-five for a pack of cigarettes. That's the crime. What, are you kidding me? That's white-collar crime. I'd rather give my money to the crackhead before I give it to these politicians who are raising the cigarette uh, sales tax. Hmm. I'd rather give my money to the Indians out in the reservation. And uh, there is supposed to be the law because uh, our moronic governor, uh, Peterson, signed uh, a law that's supposed to go into effect in about a month that's going to force the Indian reservations to tax non-Indians uh, when they said uh, it's a cigarette tax. At what point is that? that that's, uh, that's discrimination against non-Indians, isn't it? Anyway, my main reason for making this podcast or this video or whatever, I don't know, what, what do you call these things? Communications. Uh... My main reason is YouTube, there was a video on YouTube that was pulled. Um, YouTube deemed it uh, terms of violation. Uh, uh, and it was a video of Israeli citizens, Israeli civilians, getting killed and injured by uh, Hamas rockets. And it was good because there's people... Uh, that believe that the Hamas rockets are are uh, are uh, are not that dangerous, <laughs> you know. I mean, they say, "Oh, Israel has all the power, and they're they're retaliating back." And Hamas only has these little rockets, and Israel's got these big planes. And who cares? The point of war isn't is an eye for an eye. It's not like Israel's only going to kill the amount of people that Hamas killed. A war. The, the the point of war is to win, and if Israel has better weapons. God bless them. Then they're going to be the victors. And they should be the victors. Because Hamas are the terrorists. Hamas are the bad guys. Now why was this video pulled? I don't know. Because YouTube is saturated with videos of Hamas civilians being killed and mutilated and injured. So what's the difference? Why did they have to pull... The one uh, showing Israel being... I, I don't understand it. What's the matter here, YouTube? What is the deal? What is the deal? Mm. These cigarettes, it's just like Marlboro's. They're called King Mountains. I paid uh, $19 for a cart of King Mountains. $19. $19. $1.90 a pack. Here in New York, that's unheard of. They, they want to they rape you. Six seventy-five a pack. And in New York City, it's even more. I was uh, at JFK once, waiting on a flight to come in, and I was out of cigarettes. So I go, I go to this thing, and I buy, tell him, pack of Marlboro. I give him a $10 bill, and he gives me the Marlboro and 50 cents change. I said, sir, $9.50? He goes, that's how much they are. $9.50 at JFK Airport for one pack of cigarettes. I paid it. I, I paid it. I had to wait for the fire. I was dying for a cigarette. I paid it. Never again, though. 
And from now on, I want to make sure I have uh, some. Uh, uh, I got a lot of stock. I go. I buy five cartons at a time, ninety-five dollars. And when I'm down to about a half a carton, I go back. I'm not gonna be stuck in here at nine fifty for you all. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, so I'm going back and forth here. Uh, um, to, to those of you who think, who justify your anti-Semitism by saying Hamas has cheap rockets, so Israel shouldn't fight back because they have better arms. I mean, that's just so, that's just so stupid. What if Hamas aimed a rocket at your house? Since it's so harmless. Why don't you let them fire one at your house? So I wrote this book here. Here's a book I wrote. Um, Israel versus Hamas for dummies. And this book is just for you people who, who want to say that uh, Israel is the bad guys. I want you to read this book and uh, get back to me. Uh, of course, it's not a real book. This is just a parody thing, but I'm trying to make a point here. Okay, terrorism is bad. Fighting terrorism is right. All right, this is Billy over and out. I just wanted, to, I just wanted to kind of get my, get this off my chest with this YouTube uh, banning that video. That 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 pisses me off, man. That pisses me off big time. All right, over and out. And uh, once again, Kenny, thank you for the uh, background music. That's Kenny Wine, everybody. Great bass player. And uh, this is the voice of Long Island, and I am bidding you all good night.